Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on this Wednesday, the 21st of April. As we come together, let us pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to be glory and praise for ever. From the deep walls of death you brought your people to new birth, by raising your Son to life in triumph. Through him dark death has been destroyed, and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory, and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Ye choirs of new Jerusalem, you sweetest notes employ, the paschal victory to him in strains of holy joy. How Judah's lion burst his chains and crushed the serpent's head, and brought with him from death's domain the long imprisoned dead. Triumph in his glory now, his scepter ruleth all. Earth and heaven and hell before him bow, and at his footstep, footstool fall. While joyful thus his praise we sing, his mercy we implore, into his palace bright to bring and keep us evermore. All glory to the Father be, all glory to the Son, all glory, Holy Ghost, to thee while endless ages run. Alleluia, Amen. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray of one heart and mind. <clears throat> As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 67. God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you, O oh, let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God, let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our second psalm for this evening is Psalm 72. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Give the, king, give the King your judgment, O God, and your righteousness to the Son of a King. Then shall he judge your people righteously, and your poor with justice. May the mountains bring forth peace, and, little hills, and the little hills righteousness for the people. May he defend the poor among the people, and deliver the children of the needy, and crush the oppressor. May he live as long as the sun and moon endure, from one generation to another. May he come down upon, like rain upon the mown grass, like the showers that water the earth. In his time shall righteousness flourish, and abundance of peace, till the moon shall be no more. May his dominion extend from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. May his foes kneel before him, and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the Isles shall pay tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring gifts. All kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall do him service. For he shall deliver the poor that cry out, the needy and those who have no helper. He shall have pity on the weak and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from the oppressed and violent, and, shall, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live. Unto him, shall, uh, may be, unto him may be given gold from Sheba. May prayer be made for him continually, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be an abundance of grain on the, on the earth, st standing thick upon the hilltops. May its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and his grain grow like the grass of the field. May his name remain for ever, and be established as long as the sun endures. May all nations be blessed in him, and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wonderful things. And blessed be his glorious name for ever. May all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Our Old Testament reading is a continuation of the book of Exodus, chapter 24, from the beginning to the end of the chapter. Then he said to Moses, Come up to the Lord, you and Aaron, Nabdu and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship at a distance. Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but the others shall not come near, and the people shall not come up with him. Moses came and told the people all the words of the, of the Lord and all the ordinances. And all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words that the Lord has spoken we will do. And Moses wrote down, wrote down all the words of the Lord. He rose early in the morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain, and set up twelve pillars corresponding to the twelve tribes of Israel. He sent young men of the people of Israel, who offered burnt offering and sacrificed oxen as offering of well-being to the Lord. Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he dashed against the altar. Then he took the book of the covenant and read it in the hearing of the people, and they said, All that the Lord has spoken we will do, and we will be obedient. Moses took the blood and dashed it on the people and said, See the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words. Then Moses and Aaron, Nabdu and Abdu, and seventy of the elders of Israel went up, and they saw the God of Israel. Under his feet there was something like a pavement of sapphire stone, like the very heaven for clearness. God did not lay his hand on the chief men of the people of Israel. Also they beheld God, and they ate and drank. The Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and wait there, and I will give you the tablets of stone with the law and the commandments, which I have written for their instruction. So Moses set out with his assistant Joshua, and Moses went up into the mountain of God. To the elders he had said, Wait here for us until we come to you again, for Aaron and Hur are with you. Whoever has a dispute may go to them. Then Moses went up on the mountain, and the cloud covered the, uh, the, cloud covered the mountain. The glory of the Lord settled on the mount, on Mount Sinai, and cloud covered it for six days. On the seventh day, he called to Moses out of the cloud. Now the appearance of the glory of the Lord was like a devouring fire on top of the mountain in the sight of the people of Israel. Moses entered the cloud and went up on the mountain. Moses was on the mountain for forty days and forty nights. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God raised Christ from the dead. The Lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy we have been born anew to a living hope, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith, for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. You are ransomed from the futile ways of your ancestor, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without spot or stain. Through him you have confidence in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. God raised Christ from the dead, the lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. <clears throat> Our New Testament reading is a continuation of Luke's Gospel. Chapter 1, verses 39 to 56. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child of my womb leapt for joy, and blessed is she who believes that there would be fulfilment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Then Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on the loneliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in, their th in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham 
and his descendants forever. And Mary rem remained with her for about three months, and then returned to her home. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lady servant. On this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. Alleluia. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. We give thanks for all you have done with us and through us, for the kindness you have shown us. We pray, Lord, for this evening. We pray for all that we have to do. We ask that you, Lord, would be with us, that you would guide our hearts, that we may do what is right by you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we give thanks and pray for Her Majesty the Queen on her 95th birthday. We pray for her long life and her good health. We pray for her in her mourning the loss of her husband. We pray for all the royal family as they celebrate. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would guide and keep us keep us safe from COVID. Be with all who suffer, for all who are infected. Help keep us safe. We give thanks for all the work of the NHS in administering the vaccine, for the scientists who have helped to create it. We pray for all who have received their vaccines today, for those who have received their second doses, and for those who are patiently waiting for theirs. We pray for those who are hospitalised at this time. And we pray for the souls of all who have died. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for your peace throughout the world. We pray for an end to violence. We pray that people may live in tolerance and kindness with each other. We pray, Lord, that you would look with kindness on all who struggle. We pray for all places of violence and conflict in our parishes, in this country and around the world. We pray particularly for Myanmar, for Hong Kong, for Mozambique, for Syria, for Ukraine, for Yemen. We pray for America that it may find healing from the divisions divisions of race, of politics. We pray, Lord, for the day when all you, you have created will be treated with the respect it deserves, when we may see the humanity and compassion in all you have made. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those who are known to us. We pray particularly for Davy, Jilly, Megan and Ella. We pray too, Lord, for those who are known to you alone. For those who suffer in silence. For those who are in need of your compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Father, we pray for those who are reaching the end of their lives, 
and those who recently lost their lives. We pray particularly for Joanna, for all who are mourning her loss, for those who are preparing for her funeral, and for those who carry scars of loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God, who gave great gifts to your servant Anselm as a pastor and teacher, grant that we, like him, may desire you with our whole heart, and so desiring may seek you, and seeking may find you, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoice in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joy of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Please do join me tomorrow at 9 a.m. and again at 5 p.m. for morning and evening prayer. A uh, reminder, on Friday at 1 o'clock, we will be having the funeral for Joanna. I've sent the email out regarding um, the Zoom link. If you would like the link and haven't received the email, please do check your junk folder, um, which maybe that's where my email ended up. If not, if I don't have your email address, um, please do message me and I'll happily share the Zoom link for you so you can join us uh, to say farewell to our dear friend Joanna. Uh, but until we see each other again, God bless, stay safe and have a very good evening.